there we go. The palace in the Hague. Good morning. As you can see, it is quite a dark day. It's very gray outside and it's raining even though it's warm. But still, we are going to have a good time in the Netherlands because today we are meeting up with Marloes who just um, finished her first year in college and I was her kind of mentor thingy. I suck at it by the way, so you know, I don't get any idea. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we're gonna eat cake to celebrate that and after that we're off to The Hague to, uh, for drinks and a presentation for my uh, old job. I used to work in PR for six years with a very big American company who, is, who has offices all over the world, so also in Amsterdam. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited to see my old colleagues again and it's gonna be, the talk is going to be about American politics and uh, the elections and stuff like that. So I thought, wow, that's super interesting. So uh, yeah, but first, breakfast. Of course. Well, hello from Leiden. Malus already went inside, but we are going to have cake over her. It's called Cashew with a K. With almost 10 Kardashians are behind it. We have carrot cake and tea. And Malus has the cherry cheesecake. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hello, girl. <laughs> this is Marluz, and uh, we've been working together for the past year, if you did not know that. Um, what did you study? You can tell them. International Business Law. Yeah. University of Leiden. And well, I got my Poppe uh, Duizen. Yes. In Dutch. And well, we are ce celebrating it yes. with, uh, with cake. So. Because she got all her points and all her exams in the first year without any... You didn't have to try again or anything. She did not, she did not fail one. Awesome. So, so freaking proud of you. So that's what we're celebrating with cake. Oh my gosh, this weather. I can't even. It is so warm, so nice. And I forgot my sunglasses, so I'm constantly like squinting with my eyes because I actually didn't think I would need sunglasses in the Netherlands. I don't know what I was thinking. This weather is <sighs> perf. Right now we are in The Hague. This is uh, Malifeld, I think. Eh, somewhere over there is Malifeld. And we are walking towards the office of my former employer. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film there because <laughs> when I work there, uh, it's like a massive PR agency, communications agency in the world. They were pretty anal about the privacy of their employees and also about the privacy of the clients and everything which is totally perfect and fine when you work in that, uh, in that uh, environment and um, but it does mean that that I might not be able to film anything so just so you know uh, I might film a drink or something or maybe a colleague who does want to be on camera I don't know I don't know we'll see one of the most beautiful places in The Hague this is also where our government is I don't know, seated or something? How do you say that? Where they do their business. You know what I mean, right? Walking through this little park. I'm so annoyed I don't have my sunglasses with me, but this view is pretty nice. Oh, look at the reflection in the water. Oh, so pretty. But also like a pretty fountain. It's nice. I took a little detour so I could show you that, which is quite cool. And also, in a couple of minutes, we are also going to pass by the palace. So I can show you that one too. There we go. The palace in The Hague. It's not that big, I have to say. I think the, the palace at the dam, dam square, is more impressive than this, but... It's cool, it's cool, it's a national icon. I actually rarely worked in a Hague office. I think I've been there like three times in the six years I worked at this company. But one time it was very special because I got to work here on Prinsjesdag. The office is located um, at the route where the king and queen pass. At, at that time it was the queen. So it was so cool. I got to see them up close. And it was really, really, really fun to be here. Prinsjesdag, if you don't know, in the, in the Netherlands is like the second Tuesday in September where the government 
presents the well actually the queen presents the financial plans of the government but it's quite a spectacle it's it's very cool to see if you are in the Hague I can highly recommend you one strange thing we also have in the Netherlands um, Amsterdam is of course the capital but the government is not seated there and also most of the embassies are in the Hague as well so that's quite odd right going for a drink at the famous Hague square where all the politics happen this was super fun i saw a lot of my old colleagues but as suspected it's really not the environment for vlogging uh, there was a super interesting presentation about um, oh, okay i have to get out of the train Ugh, do you see how long this train is we have to go completely to the front yes found the right train anyway what i was trying to say is that i'm so mother flipping hungry because i forgot to have lunch and i never understood like how do you forget to have lunch like seriously my friend day consists of eating <laughs> but i had a cake with marlous and it was around lunchtime so i was quite full and after that i didn't think about getting food and i was like in the presentation and everything and it was like what I forgot to eat. It, had a, it hasn't happened to me in a very, very long time. And I got this quinoa uh, feta cheese salad, which I'm totally going to devour because I'm so freaking hungry and I'm so freaking tired. It is now 8 p.m. and we're heading back to Amsterdam. This is the weirdest thing ever. I don't know if it's Ibiza in the magnetic Esfedra rock or whatever, but I'm editing the third Ibiza vlog and I'm missing the ending. So the first day I thought maybe I forgot, I was tired, whatever. Second day I was quite sure I recorded that ending, but I thought maybe I pushed the wrong button on the camera, which never happens, but whatever, I thought maybe it happened. I am literally missing every single day's ending of the vlog you know the, the the moment in the vlog when i say like if you like this vlog put a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribe to my channel yada yada, yada. The, the part that no one watches but still you know it's nice to have an ending of a vlog i don't have it this is so freaking weird and i don't know like my my end card has like a piece for the ending of the vlog and i don't have it like for the third day in a row it's weird it's freaking weird! Stefan is such a cutie. He just looked at me like dead serious and he said, I lied to you. And I was like, what, what about? Like, seriously, he can't lie. So it could have been something very serious. He was like, I told you I made the bed, but I only did it half. <laughs> I couldn't do the, like the big sheet by myself. And I, <laughs> and I was like, wow, you're so adorable. You're the most adorable man in the world. Like, he can't lie. It's so freaking adorable. Like, he can tell small lies like this, but it's it's not even, like, whatever. You made the bed. They love you. I'm going to take a wonderful bath with this face mask. I need it, man. I need it in my life. That was a wonderful bath. Every time I edit a vlog, I'm like, girl, Fix your eyebrows before you start talking. It's so freaking annoying. They're so bushy. Anyways, tomorrow we are... I don't know. We're probably going to go sliding candy shopping, but I'm not sure yet. So stay tuned. And then Kiki Pondone. Of course, every Yugoslavian kid got this. If you like this vlog, please put a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. And then I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.